Hello everybody, it's your girl Portia T. Air and I would love to welcome you to my channel, Portia T. Air. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, hey niece, are you speaking up for what's right? Are you taking the right stance right now on everything that's going on? I hope that you are and stay firm on the right thing. I hope you're doing that. Anywho, from the title, I know why you're here. I know why you're here. You might just be here to support me or you might be here to hear my thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. Yes, I had to get my hands on this product. It's all the brave. It's all the tea. You see it everywhere. I'm excited and this is how I got this finished look okay that's how i got this finished look it's from the charlotte tilbury bronzer and if you want to get my thoughts on this product keep watching keep watching let's put this clip back hope i'm not looking crazy <laughs> all right first up i'm going to try out this wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer that's a tongue twister and with my charlotte tilbury online order i selected this as a sample well, let's pop it open let's see cute too one thing i can say charlotte tilbury comes through with the samples they're nice sizes for real Feels very nice. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. <laughs> And this is in the shade 13 neutral. I think it's my color. Sometimes when I put this on, I feel a little warm, but overall it does the job. I'm gonna use my brush, pump some on the brush and let's get into it. Next up, I'm going to go in with this powder, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I put this in my cart and ordered this as well. Never tried this powder on myself personally, but I did freelance for Charlotte Tilbury for a bit. I did. Not all the time. I did like three or four events when I was a freelance artist from them. Um, amazing products, but... I use this on clients, but never myself. Ooh, I'm a sucker for gold, if you guys do not know. Gold, I am sold, and I'm going to use the shade Three Deep. And a powder brush. Let's see. skin a nice oh 
it's not dry matte. It did soak up some of that shiny luminosity that I had, but it looks really nice. It's really, really nice. Oh, okay. I feel like I am looking a little airbrushed. Washed out, but the bronzer. The bronze is coming. Don't you worry. Don't worry. All right, I decided to go ahead and pop this lip on. I've already lined my lips with the NARS Precision Lip Pencil. And this is in the shade Spunk, a nice chocolate brown. And I have Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick and Birkin Brown. I purchased this one a while back when I was a freelance artist. And then in my sample, in my sample, in my purchase that I did online, yeah, that, <laughs> I got a mini lipstick. And this color is in Very Victoria. Look at the sizes. <laughs> and this color looks so cute. So I think I'm gonna mix the two together. I really think I would like that Victoria shade alone. But I'm going to go ahead and put on this Birkin Brown just a little bit. I love love this shade. Oops. Now let's go in with Very Victoria. Now I did put on some bottom mascara and my lip was beautiful. It was just a little bit too matte. I didn't want a matte look for this look. So I went on top of it with TM Beauty Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Rosie B. Yes, love those glosses. So bomb. Link it down below. Make a purchase and tell my girl I sent you. Okay. I'm really mad at myself. I forgot to use one of, it's probably my favorite Charlotte Tilbury product and this is the Hollywood flawless filter product and you guys have seen me use this before have you I think you have I love this and I forgot to put it on how did how did I forget this come on now I got to do better got to now this is what you guys have been waiting for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer a matte bronzing filter for face and body <laughs> yes and I got the shade for deep so let's see uh oh I haven't opened it yet you guys I'm so excited look at that oh do y'all see that this is beautiful it almost looks like a a what am I trying to say? A seashell? <laughs> oh, but then it has that. And it's like, is it light beaming off a pyramid? I don't know, but this is gorgeous. Let's open it up. Look at that. So, so, oof, beautiful. Now let's see. Not a lot of kickback, it's some, but that's to be expected. Oh my gosh. This is so, oh, do y'all see that? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful bronzer. And it's the summer of 2020. 2020 has been a fool. Let's not get it twisted. But you still want to be bronze. Despite the craziness, right? <laughs> Y'all see that? So this has the bronzer. No bronzer. Bronzer. Oh my gosh. This is everything. I'm going to dust some right here. This is so pretty. Do you guys. Do you see it? Do you see? Do you see it? 
Do you? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And you guys should know I love my Fenty bronzers, Coco Naughty, Mocha Mommy. Yes. But this right here, she, she can come in the kitchen. She can come in the kitchen with us. Absolutely. Oh my God. This is Y'all see that? And everyone loves a good bronze glow. Oh. You can get a little crazy with this. That's how pretty it looks. And I love... How it has my forehead looking. Very smooth not cakey it is just giving me what i need and it's really just flowing it's, it's silk airbrush is the best word to describe it honestly I am taken back by the gorgeousness of this bronzer. Let's see if I want to dab just a little on my nose. I know it's not a contour. Hello. Don't have to tell me. But let's see. Let's see what she does right here. You guys, stunning. Do you hear me? Mm, 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 mm. So, so pretty. Absolutely pretty. I'm gonna finish putting on the rest of my look and I will be right back. I think that's all the Charlotte Tilbury products I have. Okay, yes it is. Let me finish up the rest of my face. I'm gonna add a little bit, maybe a little highlight, a little blusher. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. And then I'll be right back to talk about this. So I finished up. I just went on my cheeks with the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Summertime Wine. I went and added a little, you know, a little something, a little highlight. I did the Fenty Beauty Cognac Candy. And this is the finished look. Do you guys, uh, excuse my hair if it's looking crazy. I'm trying to get with this pony and I don't know if it's trying to get with me. So <laughs> there's that. This bronzer, uh, you guys, this bronzer is beautiful. All my chocolate sisters, my complexion, even deeper. I think you definitely can go Try this out. Oh, mm, mm, mm. At the bottom, I always provide my foundation shades and other brands so you can see if you are similar to myself or a little bit richer or a little bit lighter. If you're lighter, there's some other options for you. And if you're my skin tone, even maybe a shade lighter or darker, you definitely can do number four deep. This bronzer, it is so nice. I'm not just, <laughs> you guys, it's nice. It's nice. Oh, look at that. Do y'all see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? She is cute. She is very cute. Now I'm going to provide some swatch comparisons of the bronzer to my Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna swatch it between Mocha Mommy as well as Coco Naughty. So I'm gonna give you guys some swatch comparisons so you can see if this is what you need. You do. Ingredients do include talc and mica along with a slew of other things. So I don't know if you're against talc or mica. If you are, they are in this product. Just wanna put it out there. 
first step in this swatch comparison of bronzers, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. That's Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. Next up in the swatch comparison, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. And that's Charlotte Tilbury Deep Four. Last step, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty. Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy, Charlotte Tilbury number four deep, and Fenty Beauty Coconati. And this is a swatch comparison on my arm. You can see that the Mocha Mommy has a little bit more red tone. Coconati is very neutral. And the Charlotte Tilbury gives a nice warm brown. To me, it's a good combination of the two shades a little bit. Add it with a pinch of chocolate if I do say so myself. So I hope this swatch comparison helps you. I don't have to say much more. Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer, you need it. As you can see, if you own Coco Naughty or Mocha Mommy from Fenty, this is very different. The shades are different. So you can definitely throw this in your bag because you're gonna have variety. Everyone needs variety. So this is approved by me get it in your life just look at that <laughs> you want a nice bronze look you know you want to look a little saucy during the summertime summer is around the corner and we need to be bronzed up even if we're going to be inside you know if we're going to be inside you definitely need to be bronzed because the sun ain't hitting nobody we stuck inside but we're gonna come against that we're coming out this summer fingers crossed this is everything i want to thank you ladies and gentlemen again for tuning in to me I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative. I hope this gave you the information that you were looking for and that you were wanting to decide if this is a product that you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment below your thoughts if you bought the product. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get to know me more personally, you can always follow me here on social media. I love to have a little bit of fun and I love to keep it real because we got to keep it real out here during these times. Got to keep it real. Thank you for watching once again. I will catch you guys on my next video and I will see you all very soon.